Hey all, Heber here. So uh, today we are taking out the Exeter, and uh, this is one of my absolute favorite premiums in the game. And I'm running a tenant. I have the Karamak Mordov uh, guys on it here, but uh, it is tenant. So on the ship you don't get that many modules to choose from because this is tier five. So I have the rudder. So I got three heels, uh, three sonars, and uh, obviously I also have three smokes. So uh, that's how I run my Exeter and. Uh, it works really well. I really like this ship here. Reloads long, 12 seconds, 3.3 rudder, 36 knots, and a very short turning radius. So uh, doing pretty well in it, and uh, I really enjoy this agile build here down in tier five, where there's really no other agile cruisers to play or at least to speak of. So uh, Exeter is the one until we get something better. So uh, I play my Exeter exactly the same way I play my Minotaur, which is exactly the same way I play my Edinburgh, which is uh, exactly the play same way I play my any British cruiser, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, it is get into uh, you know the middle as fast as you can, and then uh, you know stop the Reds from doing anything naughty. And uh, on this map here, I like the spot I'm going to right now. This is my winning spot because if I can get here first in a British cruiser, um. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a tough ask for the red team to actually do anything about it because uh, there are so many escape routes in here, and uh, pushing in here, um, you know, after I get into position is very very dangerous because I will keep people spotted with my sonar and there's uh, you know there's so many ways to shoot at ships in here except for this spot right here. <laughs> That's this is where you're safe, uh, at least if you just you know keep your wits about you. It's a bit of a shame we don't have any real Agile cruisers down at tier 5. I mean, Exeter is the closest you're going to get. And uh, I wouldn't say any of the other ships at tier 5 qualify. Um, they're simply not Agile enough. Uh, I think tier 5, you can get the rudder down to about 5 or 6 seconds. And uh, Exeter is, you know, the, the one that stands out because you can get it down to 3.3. Which is still not Agile as such, at least not, you know, compared to the tier 7 standard. But uh, it's agile enough uh, when you are, you know, comparing to other ships. And uh, as long as you play it aggressively and, uh, you know, get into early positions like I'm doing, then you're playing it right. And uh, it does work. It works really well. Exeter is a cheap premium as well because it's tier 5. I think sometimes you can get it on sale for about 5,000 doubloons, I guess. I, I seem to believe that. Um, or I seem to remember that and uh, sometimes you know you will get a coupon as well so if you put that on top you can pick this ship up for you know a few thousand doubloons and it's definitely worth it it's the in my opinion is the best premium uh, cruiser you can buy if you want something different you know because this is a heavy cruiser at tier 5 and uh, you know it's have has all the hallmarks of a light cruiser except you have the heavy guns so uh, that's what makes it fun I really enjoy the British cruiser line as well because the ships are just so different. You know, the step from uh, Edinburgh up to Neptune is quite huge. Like it's it's very different because you keep, you know, the uh, Edinburgh guns basically, but you get the Minotaur hull more or less. And then when you step up again to Minotaur, obviously you get the full Minotaur. But uh, it's it's a very nice way of making the ships stand out and be different because uh, other nations. Yeah, there, there really isn't much difference between at least some of the ship, um, especially the Americans. I think Baltimore and Cleveland, uh, I mean, uh, there's slight differences, um, but it just comes down to DPM really when it comes to those ships. The British line is just so diverse. I mean, you have Exeter and uh, you have Tiger 59 and uh, Fiji, Edinburgh, you know, Neptune. Um, obviously Minotaur as well and they are all so different and they all play so uh, well at least most of them play very very differently and uh, I love that I think that's excellent it's uh, it's it's just uh, like you know sp like diversity is the spice of life right and uh, the British cruiser line you know both of them are really diverse like the light one more diverse than the heavy one let's we be honest here but uh, you know if you look at it from above, then uh, this is probably the most interesting cruiser line in the game and also the best, if you ask me. I mean, uh, 
Minotaur is uh, pretty much unrivaled at legendary tier. Um, and uh, Edinburgh is also a really, really powerful cruiser at tier 7. Neptune is good, but uh, because it sits in between those two very powerful ships, and uh, it has a little bit of each, like it has, you know, the glass uh, hull of Minotaur, but it only gets like slightly improved Edinburgh firepower. Um, it's a little bit of a, you know, a, a leg in each camp. And uh, if you have either Edinburgh or Minotaur, I wouldn't bother with Neptune, to be honest. I would bother with Exeter though, that is, uh, like I said, one of my favorite ships in the game and it's just so much fun. I've only played it around 200 battles actually and that's that's very low for me uh, for playing a ship that I really like and that's pretty much because I find the gameplay down at tier 5 pretty slow. I mean a uh, 12 second reload and then you know when you can when you can play a Minotaur with a 3 second reload at the legendary tier, yeah, I know. But it has nothing to do with the ship itself, it's just uh, the way tier 5 is, honestly. So we're uh, just waiting for this Bayern here to get into position, then we're going to torp him. <laughs> just like we do in Minotaur, and just like we do in Edinburgh, there is no difference. That's probably the main reason I like the British cruisers, I think, because they have the tools for everything. Like, for example, Edinburgh, um, and also a radar Minotaur. They have everything you could possibly ask for in any situation, except for armor, so you just have to make that work. But uh, you have sonar, you have radar, you have torpedoes, and you have, in uh, Minotaur's case, very, very good AA. So, uh, you know, it's a fun ship to play, and uh, you can really pull off some quite amazing plays, and uh, that's why we play, right? So uh, I wish I could put a radar on Exeter instead of the smoke, but unfortunately that's not possible. And uh, I don't think it ever will be, because radar is not really a thing down here at tier 5. But uh, because of that, you need to use your sonar. And the sonar on the British cruiser is also really good. Um, it's not as good as the Germans, but it's fairly good. And uh, not many people realize down here, because, uh, you know, most people playing tier 5, uh, they haven't really made it that far in the game yet. So you don't un really understand what a sonar is, what it does, and why you should save it, and why you shouldn't pop it as soon as the pedal starts. Many people do that. Uh, you can see that from the last update when uh, you know <laughs> it shows on the screen, like right there, that uh, someone activated sonar. It's kind of scary to see how many people activate it right off the bat, you know, along with their planes and all sorts of weird things. But uh, at tier five, that's you know, that's par for the course, and uh, that's just normal. I have no problem with that either. But uh, there is an Exeter over here, and uh, I'm going to try to sneak up on him and keep him spotted, because uh, I'm pretty sure that he's totally outnumbered now, so he's probably going to try to smoke up. And uh, that's one party I would love to ruin. So uh, the sonar on Exeter is 5.1 kilometers. That's really, really far. Most sonars are only 4.4 or something like that, and the Germans are, you know, going up to 5.6, I believe. So it's like in between here, and uh, it means that you can pull off some really nasty surprises, and you don't really need a radar, honestly. But it would be nice to have it still. So uh, anyway, that was Exeter for you people, and uh, agile build, and you know, get in there and do stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.